So the reason I'm sitting in the dark and filming this is because I was really badly triggered yesterday. As I've mentioned on the channel for a while, um, I am a victim of various types of abuses over long periods of time and it's it's very hard for me sometimes to talk about abuse because I get triggered. <laughs> I will start thinking about a situation that someone else is facing, identify it as abuse, then come back to my own situations and then go, oh dang, guess that happened to me as well. And then I have to deal with all the fallout and all the emotions that go with that. I was triggered by like a literal bar of soap. <laughs> it was so weird because I didn't know I was triggered and I thought I need to make this video um, in darkness because it kind of calms me, you know, to have like the lights off and just like moonlight shining on me. Um, but I didn't realize I was being triggered at the time until I started thinking about why can't I sleep despite having very good reason to need sleep because I'm still <clears throat> recovering from a really bad uh, part of illness and I had to start asking myself why can't I sleep why can't I just let go of my phone why can't I just do what I need to do I need to be up early tomorrow I've got a ton of things to do and that was when I realized um that I was triggered by something because it filled me with so much anxiety and caused a lot of, um, it caused that insomnia because I have started to realize that that's a response to, um, <clears throat> to certain traumas. I struggle with insomnia and what I did was I kind of put a stop to it because I could acknowledge it, but I thought I would just make this video to remind people about different types of triggers. I started thinking about triggers um, shortly after I realized that I was triggered. And I thought to myself, wow, I did not know that I could be triggered by a smell. I didn't know that. And if I could be triggered by a smell, I could be triggered by a color, I suppose. I could be triggered by something someone says or does that reminds me of someone that has hurt me in the past and even though that can be kind of like a scary feeling or a shocking thing um you know it's a it's a healing process so it will take time to heal but to just learn what your triggers are is just it's helpful it's even though it's painful but um I just thought I would remind people to be sensitive to people who are victims of various types of abuses because I had no idea that I was triggered at that time. I just knew that I was irritable. I just knew that I was tired. The insomnia had come back again, like randomly, especially when I promised myself I would put my phone down and get to bed at a certain hour. But I just couldn't do it. And I just had to start analyzing. So if you are someone who is like me, who has struggled with long-term hurt, long-term um, varying types of abuses, if you're someone that is only now discovering that they were abused, just be cautious of your triggers. Um, just think about your actions try to analyze what you're feeling and find a route for it so that you don't direct it at someone and hurt them when you don't mean to and I, I don't mean like be abusive or anything what I mean is if you are triggered by something or someone you could snap at someone and you don't really mean to do that in that moment but you can hurt someone's feelings so I just wanted to say, um, just be aware of those triggers. And if you are the friend of someone who is going through these type of emotional problems or abuse related issues, that really just be sensitive. 
this individual is probably not even going to understand what they have gone through and how it has affected their mind, how they process things for a very long time. It's going to take a, probably a lifetime to heal from a lifetime of hurt. Um, you know, some people are good at healing faster. Some people are not. But if you don't even know that you've been hurt, let me tell you that when it hits you in the face that you have been hurt by someone you cared about, you put your heart on the line to love someone, whether it's a friend or family member or romantic partner, child, who it could, it could literally be anyone, and they've hurt you consistently for a long period of time, that's going to affect you in some ways. That's going to turn the way that you think about things into a, a, probably a mess of emotions and just try and figure out what do I feel and what is, what is a result of how this thing has affected me. So this is your, my, your reminder to just take a moment and care for yourself, to check out of reality if you need to, for just a couple minutes, just a day, whatever it is that you need. Be patient with yourself because you are healing and remember that if it took someone a long time to break you down, it's going to probably take you a long time to build you up again. And there will be moments of triumph where you'll feel like everything's okay. And then there'll be other times when everything is just like crashing down around you. And you, you just feel like a headless ghost or something. Like you have no purpose and you don't know what the heck it is you're doing you don't know what you're supposed to be doing and you're afraid, but you'll be okay. These moments do pass. You will not be triggered all the time. And once you start analyzing your reactions and thinking about how you feel and what caused that, you can make the choice to take your power back by accepting that this thing can't hurt me just because that person hurt me and they are associated with that particular thing or you can decide I'm gonna chuck this from my life because I don't need those reminders or I don't want the presence of that person in my life or the things that they did or the things that they liked so yeah that's been my day <laughs> I hope that your day has been infinitely better <laughs> but if not uh, I hear you I hope that you have a better evening though I hope you find a space where you can feel safe whether it's just by switching off the lights and feeling comfy and alone in like a cold enclosed dark environment feeling like you are being hugged by a giant blanket or whether you feel like being around people, I hope that you find a safe space. I hope that you put the effort into your mental health because you deserve it. You deserve to be healthy. You deserve to be happy. But some days we also just need to acknowledge when the struggle is just too hard for just a short period and just rest because that's okay too. So yeah, I hope that you are gonna be you you probably are gonna be just fine <laughs> but if today just feels like one of those days for you um take care of yourself take some time to yourself because you absolutely deserve it <laughs>